Hey, what's up guys? Caleb here, and today I'm reviewing the LEGO Ideas Steamboat Willy set. In the US, this is going to cost you $90 to some people's dismay. Hopefully in this review I can clear up if it's worth it and if you should buy it or not. Let's get to the minifigs. The first minifigure included is Steamboat Willy or Mickey Mouse, and I gotta say, he looks beautiful. He's got this, like, wonderful silver leg printing. The uh, waist and the arms are blank, just black, and he's got this hat. You can just pop that off if you don't want it. He's also got an exclusive turkey in the straw printing with the actual music to it, which looks absolutely beautiful. Love that aspect of it. Anyhow, that's Mickey Mouse. The second figure included is a Minnie Mouse, and she looks just as good. She's got this really nice, like, dress piece, as you can see, and an exclusive guitar. I love her, like, leg printing once again. Same body and arms as Mickey, but the head is a little bit different. You might not see it, but they give her little eyelashes. You can also take her hat off. But anyhow, I really love how this minifigure turned out. She looks beautiful. The set also includes a nice stand with the Mickey Mouse logo, and it's also got the year um, Steamboat Willie first like emerged, 1928. So that looks pretty good. I just put it right alongside of it. But you also see this bit here. You can just pop it off and flip it over, and then you have a really nice stand for Mickey and Minnie to stand on. I personally am not a huge fan of the way this stand looks. I don't know. They just look a bit off to me sitting on that, but it's up to you. You can display them that way if you'd like, or you can keep them on the boat. Myself, I like the boat, but, you know, it's up to you. Here's the actual set itself. The set has about 751 pieces, but I gotta say, it looks beautiful. I love what they did making it, like, all black and white like this. You see on the front here, you've got, like, a flag, and you've also got a stand for a parrot, which... Sorry, I accidentally lost. I don't have that anymore. But yeah, you can turn it around. It's got these gray windows, but there's actually no, like, interior at the bottom. It's got a door. Once again, no interior. It's also got, like, this beautiful tiling on the bottom. It looks really, really nice. It's got the SS Willie with 1928 again. It's got these, like, paddles and stuff. On the back, you get, like, a crane, and you can actually crank this with your hand it's not very conventional but yes it does go down 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 and then you can crank it back up once you're done see on the back you got a few more little details you got like a little potato bin which i think looks great exclusive print there got some crates and stuff that you can haul down on the thing you've even got some pots and pans on that scene where he bangs on them you do have like a pail and stuff which is cool and so yeah overall this whole black and white color just looks outstanding I love what they did with this and it matches it like perfectly like if you look at pictures of it it looks almost just like it now the real fun part is that the main play feature is that you can actually like push it forward and there's hidden wheels underneath and so it'll go up and down with the smokestacks and then the fins will go like in a circle which looks it works like s smooth like flawlessly it works perfectly and so when you push it back and forth it does that and I just think it that's like an incredible aspect of it it's got like all this color underneath that makes it run whenever you do that do you see the wheels there and so that'll make it run whenever it's running on the wheels there's a whole complicated gear system inside that makes the entire thing work absolutely flawlessly I gotta say it's definitely a major pain to build these fins though, that's one negative aspect of it. It's got just like, you have to build this thing 16 times, and it's just so hard. I mean, it's an easy building process, but it took me half an hour. I had to have my brother come and help just to make the time go faster, and it still took us a while. So, these fins were very hard to build. But overall, the whole building experience, I thought, was really fun. You'd think that... Oh, it might just be boring because the whole entire thing's just black and white, but really it's quite a colorful build on the inside. You just can't see it at all from the outside, which I think is really cool. As you can see, I've popped off this roof here with the whistles and stuff because you can actually fit Mickey in this little perch on the top. You see he's 
in there nice and snug. It's got like the little steering wheel and then it's got like the the life ah, I'm losing my mind. The life things that like life preservers. Yeah, it's got the little wheel from the scene where he's whistling and just going along, which I think is incredible. They did that like perfectly. You can see him peeking out the front there. If you look up there, that's him up there. And I gotta say, I love how this turned out. Like, the interior's really good. It's even got, like, a bell on the top here. And I know in the real thing, there was, like, a staircase that he went down. And there's none of that on this model, which would be really hard to put on. But it's okay, because, I don't know, I really love how it turned out. This is the only interior. And, yes, I kind of wish there'd be more interior. But then we wouldn't get this amazing mechanism for the whole thing moving like that. So at the end of the day, should you buy the Lego Ideas Steamboat Willy? I would say, heck yes, go for it. I love this set. I mean, some people might be put off by the fact that it has 751 pieces for $90. And yes, when I bought it, I thought, oh man, it's a little pricey. But when I built it and just put it all together, it's this amazing display piece. And like, it rolls flawlessly it hasn't broken on me in a year and it just always looks beautiful it's such a great set i love this set you should totally go pick it up if you ever had the chance to because like like if you're a big disney fan or anything you should get this it'd go well with like the disney castle and other like disney sets that are coming out and i think lego really nailed it with this model i think this model's absolutely incredible and you should definitely get it i'm gonna give this set a solid 87 out of 100 that's gonna be my grade for it because I really like this and yes I kind of wish there'd be more interior and I don't know maybe an another minifigure or something but I think in total you should definitely get this set it's amazing you won't be disappointed this is Caleb thanks for watching hit that subscribe button if you want but you don't have to I'll see you guys later